In this video, we're going to step through the various functions of the Paragon HVAC HMI. HMI stands for Human Machine Interface and is the device used to navigate the Paragon HVAC software. The Paragon HVAC can be used in many varying applications. It should be noted that each unit is configured specifically for its application. It is strongly recommended to communicate with tech support, sales, or service team prior to making adjustments to prevent unintended operation. Every Paragon unit will have at least one unit-mounted HMI with a possibility of up to four additional space HMIs. Each space HMI can sample temperature, humidity, and CO2 of their installation location and contribute towards an overall average if this is their intended use. They can also be used solely for display purposes or a combination of both is acceptable as well. HMI sampled conditions can be weighted to create a better representation of exact space conditions. The HMI is navigated by using four buttons on the outside of the LCD display. Two are on the left and two are on the right. Once on a menu and not on the main screen, the two left buttons up and down are used to go up or down in a menu, and the right two buttons enter and back are used to enter into and back out of menu levels. Enter drills into the highlighted section and back backs out one level. Pressing back enough times will return you to the main screen. Each HMI's temperature is sampled by two adjacent sensors located near the bottom of the faceplate between the lower two mounting screws. The HMI also has an integrated relative humidity sensor that will sample and display the humidity relative to the current dry bulb temperature. Each of these sensor readings should be compared to test equipment such as a thermometer and psychrometer to verify reading accuracy. Each HMI also contains a CO2 sensor that will sample space carbon dioxide levels to provide further improved indoor air quality potential. The Paragon HVAC can be configured to achieve optimal space CO2 ranges displayed in parts per million. This provides us more data points to monitor and control that will contribute to optimized indoor air quality. One important note is that the space HMIs should be installed with their factory provided vented standoff to allow for more accurate space readings. Care should be taken to ensure the HMI readings are not skewed by poorly insulated wall cavities or excessive space temperature swings caused by variables such as a sliding entry door, space heaters, appliances, or other factors that could skew readings. We recommend space HMIs are located in a room not impacted by sunlight, while giving the best representation of average space conditions, typically near a return. Space HMIs should never be installed in an area with a draft or near a supply diffuser. Upon arrival, the unit or space HMIs will likely be in screensaver mode. The screensaver can be enabled and configured per the customer's preference to display date and time, temperature date and time, temperature only, or temperature and relative humidity. We'll discuss modifying the screensaver in a later video. Pressing any button will wake the HMI and display the main screen. On the main screen, you'll see the date, day of the week, time, space, or discharge temperature, and climate control state. You'll also see a temp plus and temp minus button, and possibly an on, off, or override button. If your unit has scheduling enabled, you'll likely just see a temp plus and temp minus button. And whether the unit is occupied or unoccupied per the schedule defined in user settings, which we'll discuss in a later video.